Good afternoon. Welcome to Nary Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. All right, let's get to the chase. Biden tells everybody that's American citizen, get out while you can. We're not sending the cavalry to rescue you. You've been warned, you've been told, you ignore it. That's on you. I don't feel sorry for you. This isn't Afghanistan. You've been warned multiple times. You've seen the buildup. Get out. If you refuse to get out, you better have a gun in your hand or a damn good reason why you can't get out of Ukraine. Plain and simple as that. I'm, yeah, I wouldn't send anybody to rescue you if you said, I changed my mind. Now, if you're stuck on the border trying to get out and you legitimately need help, then I would say, let's, let's, let's help those people. But if you're just sitting there in, in Kiev or Odessa and saying, I'm not sure what's going to happen, things happen, you're on your own. Now, as far as having troops in harm's way and Biden issuing a warden warning to Putin, I hope he doesn't harm American citizens, then get the hell out. Get our boys out. We have up to a thousand, quote unquote, military advisors in there training Ukrainian troops. If you don't want Americans harmed, then get them out, including the military. Plain and simple, Joe. Plain and simple. Putin has moved up and set up field hospitals, triage units, with blood banks. That's a surefire indicator that he's expecting casualties and injuries. You don't do that on training exercise. More equipment has come up in the Crimea, and more equipment has arrived in, in uh, Belarus. Three-sided attack, it's going to happen trouble is now Putin has to worry about the 17,000 foreign fighters that have come into Ukraine. And they're there to kill Russians. Make no mistake about it. They're there to kill Russians. And that is Putin concerned because that made that he made that a condition. One of them about not waging war in Ukraine, plus a guarantee again that Ukraine won't become a NATO nation. None of those will happen. Putin is now deliberating the cost to him, whether to go now or go later. While it, the longer he waits, the more arms flow into Ukraine, the heavier the casualties will result. If the 17,000, which are there to kill Russian state, it'll be guerrilla warfare, and it'll be much more destruction and a lot more deaths on both sides. It's not going to be a quick invade and then hold. It's going to become Afghanistan 2.0 and uh, it'll be very deadly. Now, looking at the civilian population, <clears throat> they've become very concerned about what's going to happen. Some of them are carrying backpacks, but you know what? None of them are saying, I've got to get my three-day assault pack ready to go. I have to get my multiple bug out bags ready to go. I have to get my war belt on. None of that crap. And it should be happening here. Your preps should be what you need to survive. And honestly, in my opinion, if bombs start falling here in America and the SHTF happens, people are going to panic. They're going to run for the hills. They're going to say, what do I do now? Where do I go? There aren't going to be stores open. There isn't going to be any food. And they're going to run to the closest place they think safety is. That may be coming out to the country. <coughs> that may be coming out to the suburbs. That may be locking their doors, hiding themselves in the basement until they think it's all over. People are going to leave their ghillie suits behind because nobody's going to become a sniper. People are going to leave their, their armor behind. They're going to leave their three. They're going to pack up and throw everything in a car or cars that they can. Grab the family and say, we got to get out of New York. We got to get out of Columbus or whatever major city you're in. We got to head for the hills. Grab as much food and water as you go and then we'll wing it as we get there. I truly believe that's what's going to happen. And as soon as they realize that there isn't any more food in the grocery stores or hospitals open and the supplies are there to treat you 
people are going to be realizing they're in for it now. I think it's going to be mass panic, and I think the American people have grown too soft. They don't have a will to live, at least fight for it, a will to survive and know how to fight for it. A lot of people are just going to fold up tent and say, I'm done. I really truly believe that. I truly believe that. All this money you're spending on fancy knives, flashlights, tomahawks, you know, all this kind of crap, you're going to need food, water, medicine, shelter. And that's what it's going to come down to. I have stuff. I have stuff because I'm committed. I'm going to, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to defend my family and my friends. And that's the way it is. We're going to, people come on here, they're going to know they're in a fight. And there's not going to be any ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, the missus and I have made a commitment there. We're not going to surrender our arms. We're going to get the business end of the, of the gun, and that's it. Serious. I don't think anybody should be wasting money on fancy flashlights. You're not going to need it. First off, there may not be any power to recharge them. Once the batteries are dead, they're dead. You should be focusing on food, long-term food, lots of it. How you're going to cook, how you're going to eat, how you're going to take care of yourself medically or others. That meaning having antibiotics, fish antibiotics work fine. Plenty of gauzes, plenty of medicine, the knowledge to know how to use it. Skills with your weapons. And if you so choose to have a tomahawk over a knife, then have at it, buddy. I don't think it's going to come down to hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think it's going to be give us what you have or die, period. Simple as that. He who has the most wins, and that means most people, most food, most ammo, most everything. So stop being glamour Hollywood. I don't care what you carry in your everyday. Don't care. I don't think the Ukrainians will care what they have in their purse or their pockets. The Russians certainly aren't going to care either. I carry the stuff I've always carried for years. Pocket knife, lighter, toenail clippers. You know, if things start getting rough, then I'll start carrying again. But I'm not going to put myself into that mental position where I feel I have to carry again. People are going to say, well, what in case something happens? We're not there yet. When things get rough, then I'll start becoming a militant person and being armed. I'm not stupid. You shouldn't be either. Spend your money wisely. Pay attention to what's going on here in the United States. Inflation's going through the roof. Gasoline's going through the roof. If you're stocking up on that, I'm happy for you. If you're not, get busy. If you don't care, don't ask for help later. Just wanted to get that out there. I don't care what you carry in your pocket and your everyday carry. Don't care. I don't care how many bug out bags you have. Don't care. My focus is eating, being healthy, and defending my home. That should be what everybody is. Just my thoughts. I think people are just going to run for the hills. Or fold up and say I'm dead. Get yourself right with God, meaning asking forgiveness, get baptized, drag out.